This is two-and-a-half-year-old Cash Hyde. He's battled a brain tumor and won. Cash is one of the state's youngest medical cannabis patients. I believe that, you know, Cash is with us for a lot of reasons. You know, he is a patient of medical cannabis, which is, I think, greatly benefited his battle. Cash's parents were there every step through his battle and watched as drugs prescribed by his doctors made him hallucinate and even stop his heart. I watched Cashy not be able to eat for over 40 days to the point where he couldn't lift his head up off his pillow. I realized along the way in this, in this journey that there is a quality of life that a lot of people do not have and it's because of the drugs that they're given. With medical cannabis so new to many, some are worried of the effects it might have on young developing brains. Brandy Tyree is a substance abuse prevention specialist who spends her days trying to keep kids away from marijuana. The THC will interfere with um, concentration, learning, problem solving, short term memory, all things that kids need, especially when they're in school and trying to learn. It's a substance that's harmful for the brain during development. We believe it's harmful for kids. And in our opinion, no, we don't think kids should be using marijuana. I would tell people before they make a decision, um, on this to really do their research and check the facts out. It helps his appetite, it has anti-cancer fighting properties, it helps rebuild his organs that were damaged from the chemotherapy, it helps some sleep. If you or someone you know has battled cancer, I don't have to tell you how devastating it is to watch chemotherapy and cancer consume your loved one. And when you can actually watch something that you're doing for them actually benefit them in a way that nobody else can do. You feel, you feel empowered and you feel like you can make a difference. Reporting in Missoula, I'm Allison Weller for Montana's News Station.